Hey, George Harris, uh, 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 James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. You can find us at tarpleymusic.com. Please subscribe to the channel below if you haven't already. Please don't adjust your TV set. This is actually how this guitar looks. This is a replica of George Harrison's Rocky Strat that Fender is coming out with another edition of this. And this is really really cool. If you are a Beatles fan or a collector or especially a George Harrison fan, this is a must-have sitting on the wall. So it is just your standard three single coil strat. Uh, it's an alder body. It's actually got a 60C style neck for those times. This is a gloss urethane finish. It's a 7.25 radius on the neck, so very, very standard. 21 frets. Just feels like a good old chunky strat and uh of course this is a bone nut here and uh it's or actually was originally a sonic blue was the color which you can tell from the back one of my favorite fender colors there and uh then from there all the custom paint job that was done on it, it was actually originally a mint green pit guard and then like off-white knobs and stuff so all that was done and then painted you know of course on top of that it is just a standard four bolt neck plate on the back vintage style tuners it is a complete replica of that guitar very important guitarist george harrison who uh died uh in uh 2001 november 29th very young 58 years old uh complications of throat cancer uh which if you know anything about the harrison story he was actually attacked him and his wife were attacked in their house and they think some of that cancer has gone from that. It's really tragic of, of how all that went down, but just an amazing guy. So in the summer of 1958, at the age of 15, he actually auditioned for Paul McCartney, who he met on a school bus uh, for his band at the time. But John Lennon thought he was too young because he was 15, but he uh, you know, continued to impress him and as he was just a fabulous uh, guitarist. And so he actually joined who was there, the Quarrymen at the time. And then he actually came in and when they started, they became the Beatles, but he brought a lot of that folk influence from like the Birds and Dylan and stuff like that. And uh, he wrote quite a few hits. Um, so even though John Lennon and Paul McCartney were the primary Beatles uh, songwriters, uh, pretty much after 1965, Harrison had at least two cuts on every album. Uh, some of my favorite, Here Comes the Sun, While My Guitar Gently Weeps, uh, Something, uh, Tax Man. I mean, just a bunch of great hits. And the other thing you may not know about George Harrison is, yes, he's a great guitar player. In fact, uh, Rolling Stone magazine placed him number 11 in the top 100 guitarist of all times. But he was really great at all instrumentation. Uh, mandolin, uh, sitar, harmonica, he played uh, pitched percussion very well. Uh, vibes... Uh, uh, you know, marimba, xylophone, things like that, as well as organ and piano. Just an incredibly talented guy, multi-instrumentalist, a very important part of, um, of our musical culture. And then, of course, went on to do a lot of solo material. He wrote with Clapton and a lot of the great artists. And he one of his last gigs, he was with the Traveling Wilburys, which he was, you know, uh, Tom Petty, Roy Orbison, um, uh, Jeff Lynne, Bob Dylan, I mean just a super, super star of uh, folk band from all those guys. So very, very important. This is just a really cool representation of so much history. Um, not only, though, can I just put it on the wall? Well, yeah, you can put it on the wall. It looks great. It's cool. But it's actually a great, wonderful-sounding uh, Strat, too. So we're going to listen to it. We're going to go through the, the five-way switches and give it a little bit of a listen as well. And uh, we'll be right back with you. So like I said... Standard five-way strat with the three single coils here. So uh, in position one, of course, we if my, my mustache is going to fall off, you're just going to have to focus on the guitar and not my face. Um, that's just how it is. Uh, you know, we, we cut a little bit of budget in the makeup department to make up for getting the guitar. And so position one, we've got the bridge pickup, and then just standard as normal with two, three, four, and five all the way to the front. And this is coming off. Makeup! So here we go. So here is position one, all the way back here. Position two, so now we've added the middle pickup.
middle position with just the middle pickup. Of course, now we're getting more into our bass pickups, our rhythm pickups. So this is our middle and our neck. Finally, a rhythm pickup here, right here at the neck. Still a great sounding clean strat in all five way positions with one of the coolest retro paint jobs ever. So the reissue of the Fender Strat, George Harrison's Rocky, such a cool, cool piece. Uh, there's a lot of Beatles fanatics out there. George Harrison had its own cult following of, of fans just because he had a lot of different music influence, and a lot of Indian music with sitar and stuff like that. So I know there's people out there who would love to have this as a collection just to honor what he has done for years. Uh, you know, 11th on Top 100 from Rolling Stone. It's a pretty good list. Got to go check out Rolling Stone's Top 100 guitarist. Uh, and just there's so much amazing talent out there and people who gave to guitar history. George Harrison, no exception. So I know you Beatles fans out there, just to have this kind of a thing as a on the wall is is one thing from a collecting standpoint. But it's just a really great playing guitar. It plays very very well. It's cool to have a really cool showpiece that you can pick up and really just kind of jam on for a while, playing all your favorite Beatles songs and stuff like that. Um, they nailed the paint job. Go check out some pictures and like it's just it's just a really really cool piece. So. Uh, if you uh, enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you enjoy me dressing up weird and making a fool out of myself, that's great. And just uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to know as more of these videos drop, then just turn on notifications, and we'll see you after the 60s.